menstrual, isn't there? Definitely, man. Because like, yeah. what about I rhymed consensual with menstrual? That's yeah, a, that's that, a, that that was the key moment there. That I was like, right, that's where wow. you knew. She I weren't had bleeding. Something. You smacked it. Fact, I smacked it. Right now, we've got a fella in here. While we're talking about giving people opportunities in life, there's a young lad. He's mate of mine. I met him at the Pride of Britain Awards. He's called Rick. Frost, he's changed his surname since I last met him. Anyhow, he got <laughs> shot in the neck in Birmingham, right? And uh, like he started up this project where he helps ex-offenders to make music to get them out of all sorts of rhubarb and trouble. I realised you were coming on the show. I thought you're the sort of person who might be able to help young Rick. Let's get him on the radio now. Dizzy Rascal and young Rick. Ricky, get in here, son. He's a lovely lad, and uh, here he is. Cut, Ricky. You can use uh, you can use my mic if you want to. Oh no, he's going to have his own mic. So uh, yeah. So firstly, uh, Ricky, Dizzy, there you are. Let's meet each other. Have you already met each other? Yeah, bro. Yeah, we've got, we've got oh, well, good. Yeah. There they are. They're meeting each other now. There's obvious obvious tension between them. <laughs> <laughs> Very erotic to watch. I'm not saying. Why is everything sex, man? It's because it? I like sex. Right, we all Dizzy? like sex, man. Oh, but just don't go on about it. I just think he likes sex a bit more than everybody. Else. I do have a lot of energy for it, chaps. Yeah. I mean, I'll be honest with you. I don't, the reason I'm also, I think, because it's a unifying force, because everyone's interested in it to some degree, I thought, like, it's my go to place for getting through <laughs> social situations. Yeah, oh, my, they're mine too, bro. You wouldn't believe right? the kind of yeah, I escape uh, through sex. Oh, I'm <laughs> wag. <laughs> <laughs> you, you escape through sex? So it's still, yeah, man, it's escape everything. He's escaping escape through world. sex. Where's this? He's up. escaping through sex. <laughs> what is he doing it in the garden? Yeah, he's got no respect. He hasn't even bought a tent. Ricky, explain to Dizzy <laughs> if he's not busily escaping <laughs> through sex. Sex, as usual, <laughs> about your organisation so that Dizzy understands it because he's probably yeah. more helpful to you than I am. Yeah, basically what it is that I do, um, I use music and media as a tool to divert ex-offenders and vulnerable youth off of the streets. Um, I teach them everything in regards to music, like music production, songwriting skills, vocal arrangement, just get them in the studio. I've got a studio in Crystal Palace where I do like, all my projects from. And um, yeah, it's, it's been going alright, it's been going quite well, yeah. So also, you, if you, you bought a CD that we can play and Dizzy can have a listen to, is that here? Yeah, yeah. Even, right, I think there's a swear word in it. And no, 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 no. It's, it's, it's actually quite a mellow track. That it's quite a mellow track. Yeah, yeah. Was it made, like, don't give us too much details, but was this track made by an offender of some kind? No, well, not an, not an offender. Get so one forth. by an offender! No, 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 but it's, it's, a, it's a youth that was at the risk of offending. He's right. here with me, with he was, me he now. He could have yeah. offended. And yeah, this yeah, kid yeah. has done this track. Any minute he could have offended. <laughs> Ricky <laughs> swept him off the street <laughs> before an offence was done. Now, if you are a Daily Mail writer, how could you not love Ricky? A young black man, he's been shot in the neck instead of getting out there causing more offences. He's hoovering up offenders. Wow. He's sending them out as musicians. He's an alchemist, this boy. Let's have a listen to some of his music. Dizzy Rascal. Oh. Now, you're in a position of power now, of course, aren't you? Even though you're a young man, you're in a position yeah, so of power. I'm doing a similar kind of thing with Dirty Stanks. Oh, my God. Yeah. Don't be rivals. Don't come rivals. <laughs> I don't want this to be East Coast, West Coast. Coast, West Coast. I don't want another Biggie Smalls on me. Wow. Wow. The, the, the I don't want Suge Knight all over me. <laughs> Stop it. Hey, I'm very respectful towards that. That's a, I think we're allowed to joke about things like that, aren't we? Yeah. Are we? Are we? Uh, yeah. Of course about, we are. You can have to joke about anything. That's how we bring about freedom. You do it through music. Me and Simon do it through jokes and gay sex. Right, Si? Oh, <laughs> love it, love it, love it, love it. There we go, kids. Okay, let's listen to uh, Ricky and his, what I'm going to call, an offensive track. No, no, it's not even that. Not Ricky, tell us a little bit about that track. Who's it by? What's it called? Well, What's you know on? what? I'm actually let the man come and talk about him. So. What's his name? His name's, his, his name's RV. He's Dizzy has little, stepped little. aside to let yeah, RV yeah. use his mic. Yeah, it's one of the most beautiful still, things I've ever seen. You know? <laughs> he's quite serious. He's quite serious. Like he's a singer, songwriter, producer, rapper. He does everything. He's very, very talented. He is talented. That's that brilliant. That, that record. It's not even my cup of tea, but I like it. <laughs> it's always making me feel a bit sexy. You know, you know. Do you think that's going to blow your mind, me and Dizzy? <laughs> bye, bye, Dizzy. <laughs> <laughs> so go on then, mate. That's good that you've done that. Tim, what it's a little bit about and what the inspiration is and the way you work. Tell um, us what you feel like. Basically, uh, Rick and I produced, uh, sat down and made this track. I uh, made this um, beat from scratch. Um, uh, and he just asked me to write about colours, but use it as a metaphor, talking mm. about a lady, describing mm. her. Mm. So, um, yeah, I just took it from there and elaborated on it. What, what crime were you about to do before you recorded <laughs> <laughs> Simon, don't drag out the crime! Look at him, he's reformed by <laughs> music! Know. He looks like he was never he's like a Orpheus. criminal. He looks he's like been he could have been an accountant or a lawyer, now he's had to do this. He can't be an accountant or a lawyer, look at him! He's like he's going to do an offence any minute! You know? He'll probably do an nah, offence nah, on you nah, and you deserve nah, it. Nah. Go on, RV. Don't um, do an offence. Just tell us what's nah, going on. Um, basically, I was just involved in that in that gang life, in that street street crime. What what um, a lot of people don't see. 
I hear you, blood, because I myself ran with some pretty rough gangs yeah. in Greys in Essex. If I wasn't popping a cork in someone's ass, oh, I was no. moving <laughs> rhymes like bloody weight. Yeah. Oh, there goes oh, another rhyme. Yeah. There goes a bit of weight. This Good that you're in here. So yeah. Ricky has got you out of all sorts of gang palaver, which is a serious um, business. We're having a laugh about it, but yeah. oh, I wouldn't like to be in a gang. Was yeah, it fun? No. Did you like it? No, no. It's, 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 it wasn't really a fun thing. It was just at the end of the day. Um, Growing up, it's like when there's not really that much of a, ro a male role model in your yeah. house to show you what's what's going on, like you know. You, Did you, you not watch Big Brother's Big Mouth? Because uh, I'm quite a good role model. No, 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 no. I don't doubt it at all. I don't doubt it at all. But you know, no. Um, no male role models. So, yeah. right, so you had to find your own way. You end up hanging around with gangs and all that kind of business. So actually, Ricky, this is an actual example, right? Because tonight we are the mm. uh, male on Sunday are listening to this radio show. We know that because they're mm. looking for evidence to try and destroy us and our beautiful mm. revolution. Mm. So so you're an actual example of a young lad who could have gone all wayward off into crime and Ricky's hoovered you up and suddenly you're making beautiful, literally beautiful music. Yeah, no, um, that like, before I met Ricky as well, like, I've been doing this for ages, but Ricky, yeah, like, He's within his facilities, yeah, mm -hmm. within his facilities, he gave me a place to get focused and take it seriously mm -hmm. more as a business than, oh, mm -hmm. I can do this, so let me... For Ricky, isn't it? Well, you Sporting know, it, young man. it is what it is, really. Like, he, this he, he, guy, no, he's sitting like, no, up, but he's a serious guy. And the thing is, not only is he just doing music, he's actually now touring with me and like doing school seminars. He, we actually done a seminar yesterday oh, at wow. Lambeth, Academy, uh, Lambeth Academy. Sorry, how'd it um, go? It went really well. Yeah, yeah, went yeah, it went really what well. do you do with the kids who are going to commit crimes but don't have any talent? <laughs> <laughs> well, Those kids, they I just right. tried to keep them engaged, really. Keep them engaged mm. with folks. Maybe they can listen learning, to the music. Learning, you Simon, know? you can handle those kids. Perhaps you can bring them around your house and look at your cat. They can earn a yeah. few quid over and What are you suggesting? I'm saying that you Don't suggest things. sexually Start exploit that. potential offenders if they haven't got enough no. talent to make a damn yeah. fine record. Oh, Listen, that. we've Stop got that. to go. Stop I'm no one that. saying that. That didn't even actually happen. <laughs> Why are we discussing that? Hasn't that something that hasn't even happened? Dizzy, you've been fantastic. Ricky, you are a marvellous creature of the well, night and of the day and of every hour of every season. <laughs> oh, Vee, thank God you've been saved from a gangland monstrosity coming here like a lovely... It's like the dawning of hip-hop when actual gangsters turned poets, African vampire, all that gear. There was going to be a lot of bother, but suddenly there was beautiful music and poetry everywhere. We can change the world. Look at Ricky. Look at these young men who've got glorious chance for a new future. They can't handle the truth. Okay. The truth is good. The truth it's good, this is behind the truth, we've got the truth! Oh mate, I've got dizzy, first in it, we've got to go to the news. There's people singing and all sorts of stuff. Is that you, Simon, that singing? That was me singing, though. Don't sing in front of our new I friends! maybe I could get off the street with a bit of... A you can't get off the street, you're best out there pimping! Look after your bitches! <laughs> Sorry the news was a little bit late, but we've got a revolution to plan. I'm going to throw now to Dizzy Rascal, who's going to What's introduce that something. What's happening? Hello, Dizzy. It's going on, son. Well, you know, it all seems to be quite well in the world. Oliver Stone's turned up, one of the greatest filmmakers of all time. He's just stood over there. Oh, what's happening? Wow, it's crazy. He loves our show already. He's not even been in here. Mr. G is here, poet laureate of the show. He'll be summarising the show. I can see even now he is taking notes of some of the spellbinding radio that's already occurred. We're getting reports just in that people are laying down tools, refusing to work. The revolution won't be televised. Well, maybe not, but it's already on the wireless. The world's changing all around us. In a moment, we'll have Oliver Stone in studio. He's already arrived. I can see him through a glass window, literally surrounded by sexually attractive women. It is a sight to be hold put your tongue back in your head oliver he's of course here because uh, he's film w premiered at the london film festival the other day i went to that film simon did you enjoy it russell yeah i did as a matter of fact although it humanized george w bush a bit i mean i know he is a human so there's nothing wrong with humanizing a human i suppose it's not like a humanized table or a, a like a nebulous gas or a potato or the concept of jealousy but he humanized him a bit too much made me think oh he's all right really so we'll be talking to oliver stone about that in a moment also embarrassingly i went to the wrong premiere first of all and it's really difficult so there was loads of paparazzi on the carpet and we all got out of the car and we sort of were late and everything and I looked, as you can imagine they looked gorgeous all eyes turned the flash of bulbs the glamour the tremor the excitement the charisma you've seen the charisma right all them cameras went off click 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 Russell Russell no I can't stop I've got to get into this film we walked in uh, what are you here for well we're here for the uh, W premiere we've been asked personally by Oliver <laughs> I don't need to make a scene yeah this is the secret life of bees that we're showing here the secret life of bees who 
knew that bees even have a secret life, but apparently they're carrying on. So I had to then walk out of the cinema again, and the same photographers, you could see, you know, they tried not to laugh, but they were looking down at me as I clambered back into the car and went to the actual premiere that I was supposed to get to a little bit late. But don't let that put you off the revolution. Don't. I, I feel that's just the sort of thing that Jesus would have done. Of course he would have. Jesus made faux pas. What about that bit in the Bible when he done a blow-off in his own hand? It's one of my favourite songs. 